Hello, in this video just short, what is the best bitrate for video uploads? What to expect from this tutorial? You learn the very basics about bitrate, the recommended YouTube encoder settings for video uploads, what limits your video quality, comparison between different bitrates with different video resolutions, why watch YouTube videos always in the highest resolution and how to choose the best bitrate for you. If you want to stream, you can still learn something about bitrate in this video, but streaming bitrate is not the topic of this video. All timestamps and every link in the video description. Before we start, watch this video in 4K, even if you don't have a 4K display. Why, you ask? Well, you will learn why exactly in this video and it has something to do with bitrate. And yes, this is a 4K video, even if some source clips for the comparison are recorded in a lower resolution. If you don't have 4K, click the gear symbol and choose 4K under quality. What is the meaning of video bitrate? In short, bitrate is the amount of data per second. The problem is that we need compression to save disk space and internet traffic. Without compression you will save every information of every pixel of every frame. With compression you have the ability to only save the changes. The advantage are smaller files with almost the same quality to the human eye. Tom Scott have made a very good video about it, link is in the description. Bitrate is normally measured in kilobits per second or megabits per second. Since 8 bits is a byte and 4 bits is something I don't want to say because YouTube will get this wrong, you have to divide by 8 to get your kilobytes per second or megabytes per second. Megabytes per second is the normal measurement unit for disk speeds or your Steam download. For easy conversion, you can count with 10 fingers and say that 1 megabyte is 1000 kilobytes, but if you are a robot which saves in binary with ones and zeros, you need 1024 kilobytes for 1 megabyte. Fun fact, this conversion is often used by companies and is the reason why your 500 gigabyte disk has only 465 GB byte of binary storage. Damn you GB byte! So, how to choose a bitrate? To see the recommended upload encoding settings from YouTube, you just follow the link in the description to the Google support site. Here is the part with the bitrates. YouTube makes a difference between SDR and HDR content, so keep that in mind. We focus on SDR videos. We simply pick a resolution, for example 1080p, and if we choose a lower frame rate, between 24 and 30, we choose the lower bitrate of 8000 kilobits per second, and for a higher frame rate, between 48 and 60, we choose the higher bitrate of 12000 kilobits per second. Is that all and we can end this tutorial? Simple answer. Yes, but there are still some things to consider. Is something out there which can limit us? Of course there is. Why bother with the recommendations? Just record and lossless quality. What can go wrong? Well, a lot of things. First, the question is, can my eye see the difference between the recommended settings and lossless? Yes, you can. But mostly if you have the video side by side. The most viewers doesn't pay that much attention to detail. A very hard limit is the processing power. On your side you need a powerful hardware to record with high bit rates without lag and on the other hand need the fewer the hardware to watch your video. It can be hard to watch a 4K video on older or low end laptops for example. The disk speed can be a problem but only if you go way beyond the YouTube recommendations. A good bit rate for 1080p video with 60fps and HDR is 12 megabits per second. If you want to compare it to disk speed, you have to divide it by 8 to get about 1.5 megabytes per second. An old WD Blue HDD from 2015 have a writing speed of about 132 megabytes per second. More than enough, but not for lossless. There you need about 100 to 140 megabytes per second. What can really limit you is your disk space. The more you record, the more you need. And with more data you need longer to upload it. What's not really a problem if you have at least somewhat decent first world internet connection. But your viewer may be run into some buffer issues if their download isn't fast enough. But for the most part, 
the website you're uploading to, in this case YouTube, will transcode your video for different resolutions. And if your original bitrate is too high, you will probably lose your source quality. But I can't tell you at which bitrate YouTube caps, and it will depend on the resolution. More about that later. The limits narrow the window of bitrates you choose from. I made a comparison video in 2020 about different bitrates, but just for 1080p videos. Today we want to look at the new Rainbow Six Siege benchmark with the recommended settings. We don't go below 720 because that's utter nonsense and unfortunately I can't show you native 4K because I just have a 1440p monitor. We look at side by side comparisons of the lowest and the highest recommended bitrate of each resolution. I repeat myself, you have to watch it in 4K to see the difference, even if you don't have a 4K monitor. First off, 720p with 60 fps. On the left side with 5000 kilobits per second and on the right with 7500. Then we have 1080p with 60 fps on the left side with the lower 8000 kilobits per second and on the right with a higher 12000 kilobits per second. And now 1440p also in 60 fps on the left side with 16,000 kilobits per second and on the right with 24,000 kilobits per second. Now the great question, should I prefer resolution or bitrate? The best case is both at a high quality, but maybe that's not an option for you for some reasons. So we first compare 720p with 60fps with a higher recommended bitrate of 7500 kilobits per second on the left with 1080p60 on the right with the lower recommended bitrate of 8000 kilobits per second. After that we have the comparison of 1080p60 on the left side with the higher recommended bitrate of 12000 kilobits per second and on the right side 1440p60 with 16000 kilobits per second. To be honest there isn't much difference to tell. Let's compare 720p60 with a bitrate of 68000 kilobits per second, like we have a 4K video, versus a 1440p60 video with a bitrate of 2500, the recommended bitrate for a 480p video. Here we can clearly tell the difference, but we are way beyond the recommended bitrate for 720p. Does YouTube support higher bitrates? But I have great internet and a million dollar computer. How high can I go? Well, that depends on YouTube, but I have a little test which might surprise you. The maximum bitrate for 4K with 60fps and SDR is 68,000 kilobits per second or 68 megabits per second. And I choose SDR for this example because I don't have an HDR monitor. So YouTube supports the bitrate in principle, but does YouTube support it for lower resolutions like 
480p. This project have a base canvas of 4K with 60fps and is rendered with 68 megabits per second. If I implement my 480p60 test video with 68 megabits per second here, you can see the bitrate clearly. But what happens if I upload my 480p video directly to YouTube? Does it have the bitrate? No, it doesn't. Like the 720p video, which I recorded with a bitrate of 68,000 kilobits per second too. To YouTube, downscale the bitrate. Let's compare. On the left side, I imported the video file directly into my project. And on the right side, I re-recorded this video on YouTube. Choose your resolution based on your native display resolution, your hardware limits and where your viewer watch your videos. If you just make YouTube shorts, your viewers will be mostly mobile users and you can choose a lower resolution. With the resolution set, you narrow your choices, follow the recommended bitrates. If you record lower resolutions with higher bitrates, you have to upscale and render them in 4K. That's not really worth it. Based on how bitrate and compression works, if nothing is going on, like a game of chess, choose the lower bitrate. And if more stuff moves in your video, like in Overwatch, <laughs> choose the higher bitrate. If your viewers want to watch it in a lower resolution, it is not really your problem, because YouTube transcodes your video automatically in lower quality. But the reason why you want to always choose the highest resolution as a viewer is something I call the resolution bitrate entanglement. The higher the resolution, the more bitrate you get as a viewer. You can test that yourself very easily if you have a monitor with a resolution less than 4K. Change between your native resolution and 4K in a YouTube video. The 4K video looks better, even if you shouldn't be able to see that. That is just the higher bitrate. Thank you for watching, leave a like or dislike and leave a comment what do you want to see next.